Okay, so madami akong kilala na gumagamit ng banko but I know some folks who don't like to use the banks and I know some people who use the banks and at the same time still have cash on hand all right so let's talk about the pros and cons of having cash on hand so stay tuned and watch this video Okay, so having cash on hand, all right, it has some benefits and it also has some disadvantages. So let's talk about the benefits first, all right? So having cash on hand will actually allow for you to be mobile, meaning to say if the banks are down and all the ATMs are messed up and you have nowhere to get cash from, then having cash on hand will allow for you to be mobile, meaning to say that you can move from one place to another without having to worry about where to get money or purchasing capacity or purchasing power. Now, next is the accessibility of funds. So if you have cash on hand, so you don't have to worry where to get the money from, how fast you can get the money, it's already available to you. Now, the third advantage of having cash on hand is that it gives you a little bit of peace of mind. Okay, so kung yun nga, uh, maging down yung banko, and it's happened, okay? So, ang daming mga ATMs that are down, and a lot of um, banks are closed. And so, you have this certain peace of mind, this l little, little level of security that you have something to pull out from in case there's an emergency, okay? Having cash on hand does not come without its disadvantages number one okay is obviously it can easily be stolen all right so people can just go inside your house and god forbid it happens to any one of us and takes your cash away especially if it's you know six figures seven figures um, but that would suck and number two if you do not have the discipline to control yourself, you don't have the self-control, all right, to manage that cash on hand, then it can be misused and it can be used on a whim. So, pwede ka mag-shopping dito, add to cart there, add to cart there, check out here, Lazada there, Shopee here, di ba? So, it can be misused. And so, you have to make sure kung para saan yung cash on hand mo you have to have it or it has to have its purpose so that's another disadvantage and lastly another disadvantage of having cash on hand is that it doesn't have its purchasing power over the next few succeeding years what i what do i mean by that okay so you have to understand, there is this what we call inflation. So, nagtataasan yung mga presyo and your 100,000 pesos this year may not be enough to purchase the things that you've been buying uh, maybe in the next three or so years. Okay, so it depreciates. Your cash on hand can be probably better used to um, have it earn some dividends, some interest, or whatever it may be. So here are some things to think about when you have cash on hand. Now, if you can mix it up, it's fine. But again, what I'm showing you right now is the advantages and disadvantages of having cash on hand. So if you like this video, and if you feel that you need to share this uh, information to somebody, friends, relatives, or whoever, then please feel free to share this video. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and like it. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, write them down below in the comments section. And as always, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.